guys so for today's video we're going to do this nice colourful kind of smoky cut crease with gold I don't know but we're just going to be doing makeup um my hair is shambles right now that's why it's in this um it needs to be recurled it just needs to look better than what it does so I might do that because well I've got nothing else to do because we'll see if we're stuck <laughs> Um, so I've already done brows, all the products would be listed in the bottom bar because no one wants to see it, it's boring. So we're going to move on to eyes. So for primer, I'm going to take the NARS Pro, Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I haven't used this in ages, but um, I feel like my eyes are so oily. And obviously this has now come a long way since then. Like it's all, um, they've all got like shades that you can get now instead. But um, I'm just going to put this on. And we're going to cut the crease anyway with like um. I might use the Anastasia primer because that one's really nice. Um, I've only got like a small, small sample of it though. And uh, I know like everyone's complaining that big, the big ones are like leaking too much and stuff. But I suggest maybe buying the mini instead. Because I don't think people are having problems with the minis. I think it's the bigger tubes. For highlighter, I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty. So this is the Diamond Bond in How Many Carrots. So this is like their all over face glow thing. I think they now have it in copper as well, which looks so beautiful. Um, these are, it's truly a unique formula. It's, it's not like, it's like wet, but kind of glittery. It's strange. Like if you're not really in, it's not like chunky glitter. I don't know how to explain it. You just have to go and try it. Obviously we now have it in boots. So if you wanted to test it out, I would recommend doing it. It's just like this sheeny, glittery goodness like it does look so nice on the face so for palettes today i'm going to take the anastasia and novena palette so this is volume one and i actually really love this palette it is super gorgeous i'll leave some looks below that i've already done with it um it is just truly a beautiful palette so i'm going to start off by taking a5 first which is this top shade right here and i'm going to take that on this spectrum b06 mine's looking a little bit beat up i'm pretty sure i've got um a few others backed up which I should probably start using but I just love the mean girl one so we're just gonna take that through the crease but I'm also gonna zoom you in I'm just gonna obviously like I said take that through the crease I do love this palette I think this is gorgeous like if you're interested in buying any of the Novena palettes I don't think you'd be like um you know unhappy with it i i actually prefer oh, i'm gonna say i actually prefer these over like anastasia eyeshadow palettes i know it's the same company and i know it's like her daughter and everything but i don't know like something about these i can just i work with better for some reason like i don't know there is definitely something different maybe because it's like brights and stuff they've changed the formula i don't know if they have or not but um yeah, oh, I just I love it. Like with the Anastasia palettes, I feel like I sort of have to work with it a little bit to, you know, like to get it to blend and stuff. That might just be me as a person. I don't know, I like, might just be bad at makeup. <laughs> just going to further blend that out with a crown brush. So this is a C429, so it's a duo, duo fiber blending brush. I'm just going to buff that through. By the way, this will stain your eyelids. I'm just, I'm not going to, I'm going to give it to you straight. It will. Then I'm going to take C1 from the palette, which is this shade right here. Oh, C1 is bloody E2. So I'm going to take E2 in the palette, which is this gorgeous orange shade. And I'm going to take that on the Spectrum A07. And I'm going to put that directly in the socket. Now we're just going to blend that back out again with the Crown Rush C429. Just going to take a little bit more of A5 again run that back through so that was the pink shade so i've obviously already done it to this eye mum was hoovering so i might as well pack it on so i'm going to take then e4 from the palette which is this it's like an orange coral shade and i'm going to pack that on the outer corner so i'm going to take that on a crown brush c528 just taking that brush with no extra product and just sort of running it through we're going to cut the crease anyway so i'm not that bothered if it looks perfect as of right now because we're going to go ahead and do some more blending but so before i put concealer on and proper cut it i'm just going to take away some of the color so i'm going to take the garnier micellar water and just a cotton bud and just wipe away some of that color 
So then that obviously we have this situation. So it's just not to make the white go all funny. Not that we're gonna stick to white, we're gonna go in with gold. I'm gonna take now the Anastasia Primer. This is like the Didi Didi one. I got a free mini with the Amrezi palette. So I'm just gonna take a dot on the back of my hand. Or try to. This does come out fast. And then I'm gonna take it on a Peaches and Cream a PC5 one brush. Because <laughs> I thought it was gonna be 4 1, but it's the other brush. Take the product, look up, and that's the little line is where I'm going to cut my crease to. So we're going to stop to about here on the eye. And while that's drying, I'm just going to take this brush. So this is from Kyma Cosmetics, so it comes in like a collection. It's just a nice flat brush. I'm just going to pack this out. Right, so I think we're even. This eye sits wonky, but it's like just after blue bit of my eye. I actually don't know what that is. I'm like pupil, white bit, blue bit. So now I'm going to go back into the palette and we're going to take the gold shade, which is C2. This shade right here. And I'm going to take that on the Spectrum A16. I'm going to go in with glitter, but I just want a nice up base before we go in with glitter because the glitter's on the chunkier side. It's not like a fine glitter. Then when I get to the top bit, I do like to take a Real Techniques Fine Liner brush, just so it's really nice and crisp, so it stays that way. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I can't use the mirror in this palette, it's too big of a palette. I'm gonna have to take a smaller one. So, I'm gonna take the C528 and blend. So what I like to do is, I like to pull the gold over to like this orangey pink shade, and then I like to pull the orangey pink over to the gold. So I'll first sort of just go through, see how I feel, and then I'll go back the other way. I'm just going to take a little bit more of E4 that we took, dab that back over, and then just blend out with the Crown Brush C5, C428, C, good God, C429. We go and just so I'm just gonna clean my brush in the color switch just to get off the product. So this was the A16 because I'm about to use it again. So first of all, I'm gonna take the NYX glitter primer and we're just gonna pack that on where the gold shade is. Obviously, feel free to not do this step or feel free to skip on the gold and use what I'm about to use, which is that's done in. Can't wait. So yeah, I'm just gonna pack that on top so now i'm going to take the color pop <laughs> so this is the loose glitter in or bust and just look at this shade i feel like it's just going to be perfect for this so i'm going to take that on the same brush god i'm scared to knock this because this is a big ass type of glitter it's going to go everywhere so yeah i'm just going to pack that on top now i was like yeah it's going to be gold this is like yellow <laughs> I was like yeah I'm feeling gold like, I want gold to go on top but then the more I look at this Anastasia shade that I use it's like a yellowy gold and yeah I just wanted to stick with that rather than putting a gold glitter on top now so I feel like it just looked so pretty when I sort of get to where it finishes I just sort of take the tip of the brush and just sort of pull it through so it doesn't look so packed on, so it looks like we've done a bit of blending work. Going back into that crown brush and just sort of buffing it out slightly. So I'm taking a clean brush, so this is the Spectrum A17, and I'm sort of trying to flick away the glitter from the top, because it will just sit there, uh, especially because of how my eye shape is. It all just wants to transfer, so I'm just sort of trying to flick it. So for lashes and mascara, I'm going to take the KVD Go Big or Go Home Mascara. I have stated in lots of videos before, she no longer owns Kat Von D. So, you know, I have her products, I'm going to use them. Because this is actually really nice, this was gifted to me at Christmas. Um, and yeah, it's actually really, really nice. I don't know if it's waterproof or not or anything, or if it smudges. I literally wear it for a little bit and then sort of take it off. I'm going to take my darling lashes. So these are cherry top lashes from Unicorn Lashes. 
these are like my go-to lashes i love these these are actually my second pair i haven't thrown the first pair away because they were like sent to me my first pr and yeah these are just chef's kiss these are beautiful so i'm going to do that off camera obviously clean up the mess that's under my face and then we'll come back and do the base the lips and the under eyes go in with the nip and fab so this is the rose gold essence and i love this i've actually got a bottle of this and yeah it is fabulous it's just perfect it's not oily it's not greasy it just seeps into the skin gives you good hydration or oh, beautiful so i'm just going to take that on an elf stippling brush then for foundations i'm going to take the hourglass spanish stick foundation so this is in the shade porcelain i'm just gonna draw this on I had a little bit of a breakout. My skin's definitely not been the best. I haven't really been taking care of it. I need like the motivation to do it. I just haven't been bothering. Like I'm like, yeah, I'll just do like a quick wash and a quick serum. Like instead of like, I'm like wash, serum, toner, essence, SPF, Nurse Jamie tool, this mask, that exfoliator. But now I'm just going to blend out the beauty blender. I actually prefer this with a beauty blender. Uh, don't know why, just do. Even though they highly recommend a brush, and I'm pretty sure everyone uses it with a brush, I just prefer how it blends out with beauty blender. Just taking a little bit more on my cheek area, just because obviously I've got a lot of red knees. When I'm tired, my cheeks go bright red. Um, so that's why it's just like coming through like mad. I probably should have used a more full coverage foundation. I mean, this is pretty full. But like not compared to the liquid one, like that is full, full coverage, just like with half a pump. It's like probably medium to almost full, even with layering. Then for concealer, I'm going to use the Conceal and Hydrate. So this is from a Revolution Makeup. Hydrate, Conceal and Hydrate, not Conceal and Define. <laughs> I say this every time. So this is in the shade C1. I prefer this over the original. I used to love the original. But I feel like it was giving me like little milliers. Um, so I sort of just stopped using it. Um, but now I've gone on to this one. And this one's good. Especially with the powder I'm about to use. Which if you've been watching previous videos. Then you'll know. Like I just don't stop talking about this combination. It's just previous videos is like one. <laughs> I'm just going to take that on the eye area. Down the nose. She has her chin. Oh, actually, I, I would, mm, I've got a little spot ground. I don't really like to put concealer on spots because it highlights it. But too late now. So forehead, eyes, nose, cupid's bow. So now I'm going to take the hourglass. So this is the Lumi Sheer Colour Trio. So this is in Sunset. I'm pretty sure they only have one shade. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to start off by taking the bronzer side. Um, I do contour with this. When I have very bright eyes i like a warmer complexion like more bronzer than contour so yeah that's why i prefer something like this so i'm just gonna draw that around the forehead but i don't really contour like around my nose my lips my jawline when i use something like this i will i try not to anymore um just because yeah it is more of a bronzer shade so it's not really purpose of it is not to slim things down or change things it's to more obviously bronze the skin and to blend that out i'm just going to take the crown brush so this is the c436 and we're just going to buff that out just taking my beauty blender and just pouncing that in then to blend out the concealer i'm going to take the hourglass seamless brush i prefer a brush um with this rather than the beauty blender i feel like the beauty blender just moves it about too much um especially with the powder that i'm going to use i used it in a video with the beauty blender and it like picked up like it was like chunks of like concealer um it was it was oh god it was horrendous so that's why i don't recommend a beauty blender with it just going to take a bit of the pixie glow mist and just spritz that over just going to take this 
uh, crown brush and just sort of buff out the edges almost like blending it into the contour just so it's all like one canvas I'm just going to take a little bit of the hourglass Val retouching fluid just a little dabble this just sort of brings back a little bit of like luminosity to the under eyes just going to pack that out then for powder, I'm going to take the Beauty Bakery powder. So this is the Flower Setting Powder in Translucent. And yeah, it's going to dump it a lot out apparently. And I'm just going to take that on a Crown Brush C530. I do like to take the blender full, but they're wet, so I can't really do that. So I'm just tapping off the excess before I go ahead and set it. I'm just going to take my finger and just pack it up make sure it's all nice and blended and then just set it with the powder and just take a little bit down the t-zone then I'm going to do just a small bit of contour so I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Mega Glow contouring palette uh, so I'm just going to take I'll take a mixture of like both sides and just put that around forehead and the cheeks then for bronzer I'm going to take the Elsie bronzer so this is in light just looks like so and I'm just going to take the Oni Spectrum C07 this has got a lot of fallout this one so just be a bit careful when you use it yeah again around the perimeters so cheeks and forehead then for highlighter, I'm going to mix, so these are the Spectrum Cosmic cosmic Drops in Orb. These are like this and this together. It's like a dream. It's almost like a liquidified version of this. And I know Fenty did do one, but it was limited edition. And this is very similar. They do say you can use this on the eyes as well. But I mean, I've been loving it on the face. Um, on the eyes it actually does look really pretty it's like this wet dewiness I'll link like a video where I use them um, but yeah I'm just going to take a drop like just look at this oh, liquid gold I'm just going to tap that on the tops we'll add a little bit more I just want to sort of start off slow and then go in because I don't want to go in with loads and end up with too much I'm just going to take a little bit on the inner corners as well. So I'm just going to take it on the Spectrum A12. Do like They do a bronzy one as well. And I was watching a video and someone mixed it into moisturiser and put it on a body. And I was like, <laughs> when summer comes, you know I'm doing that. I'm just going to take my beauty and just sort of blend it out just a little. So now we're going to go back into the Fenty one. So this was the, this has got some long name though. I'm not even joking. It's like Diamond Bomb all over Diamond Val. How many carrots? So I'm taking that on the Crown Brush C528. I'm just going to put that on the top. This is not for the faint hearted. It is quite glittery. So I would, I wouldn't like recommend be like, yes, wear it to your everyday work. <laughs> no. Unless you're into that kind of vibe for work, you know, like depending on what you do um but yeah oh it's just beautiful yep that's the one so now we're gonna go into blusher so this is the nip and fab so this is basic beach and i'm gonna take the peachy shade at the front so this is coral queen i'm gonna take that on the spectrum ao5 i'm preferring it less on the apples and more pulled back if i feel like i put it on the apples i feel like it's it's too far away from my contour so i bring it down and it's too down so i just prefer it more like back um yeah now we're going to take the pixie glow mist so you want to give this a right good old shake so i'm just going to spritz that all over Shit, that is glowy as heck so now i'm going to take the urban decay all night pollution protection i'm literally going nowhere but i feel like i want to use urban decay you know So we're going to finish up the eyes now. So I'm going to take a mi let's tell you what, let's take a mixture of E2 and E4, which was the two like orangey corally shades that we took, and put that along. Then I'm going to take A5, which was that bright pink shade on the Spectrum B06, and just 
on that along the bottom as well. Then I'm just going to heat up with some Aloha Lash Mascara and you're going to see none of this. You're literally going to see the top of my head. So for lips, I'm going to take the Lime Crime Plushie. So this is in Peach Smoothie. I love these because I love like a blotted lip. Because I, when I apply a full lip, I always blot because I have to get rid of some of the colour. But this already does that. So you apply it, you pat it, and then it's done. I do have like a few other shades like over here. I love them. Like I need to pick up more. They have like these gorgeous reds and these like burgundies. And oh, just they all look so good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to apply a peach smoothie today. <laughs> that made no English. Five years ago today, I met my busted. Just look, just blotted, just, oh, it looks good. But we're going to add a gloss because I'm a gloss girl. So I'm going to take the Dominique Cosmetics. So this is a lemonade gloss and this is in the shade Peach Tea. I love a peach. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Okay, so this is the completed look. I love how it turned out. I think it is super beautiful. It's super colourful. It's super fun. I actually love playing with colour. Um, I just got more into it. I don't know. Like I think I see like a lot of colourful looks on like Instagram and Twitter and stuff. And I'm just like, God, that looks so nice. Like I just I need to step into colour, and I'm so glad I did because colour is truly beautiful on the eyes. I feel like it just really makes it pop. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs>